Question oral. Oral questions. The honourable member for Halifax. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary for the Status of Women. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And as you are aware, the Ministers for Status of Women and Aboriginal Affairs are at the round table. But I'd like to make it very clear that we do not support the National Inquiry. There have been more than 40 studies on the plight of missing and murdered Aboriginal women, and now is not the time for more study. Now is the time for action, and we need to make sure that the police catch those responsible and ensure those are punished. Our government has taken strong action to address the broader problems facing Aboriginal women, which includes the introduction of matrimonial property rights for Aboriginal on reserves. Both opposition parties voted against that, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for Halifax. Mr. Speaker, they're trying to blame this crisis solely on Indigenous men, and it's shameful. Many of these women and girls met their fate in major cities. Some of the worst perpetrators, including Robert Picton, were not Aboriginal. Mayors and premiers, Indigenous leaders and concerned Canadians from around the country, coast to coast to coast, we have heard the call for an inquiry into this heartbreaking tragedy. So instead of blaming Indigenous communities, will the government finally commit to a national public inquiry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. No, we won't commit to a national inquiry. There have been more than 40 studies. As I said, if we had a, if we had a national inquiry, it would be one more study sitting on a shelf. The action plan that the minister tabled in September is a good action plan, and it addresses issues that will combat violence against Aboriginal women and girls, and they should support us. Absolutely.